former Ohio Secretary of State Ken Blackwell, who's also a senior fellow at the Family Research Council, just supporting Kim Davis. Uh, thank you for being with me. Good to be with you, Jose. So, you know, Kim Davis clearly has strong beliefs, but should her supporters be cheering her on as she essentially breaks what is the law of the land now? Well, Jose, let's, let's, let's be clear. Uh, the Supreme Court on a 5-4 decision interrupted the democratic process that had been in play for several years across this country where people at the state level were making decisions as to whether or not uh, same-sex marriages should be, should be legal. Uh, the four dissenting justices made it very clear that we would see this dialectical tension between religious liberty and individual conscience uh, and the organized power of the state. So this should not be a surprise. Uh, she had, this is civil disobedience in a very, very peaceful manner. And, and, and so I don't think that uh, she should be criminalized uh, when, in fact, uh, there, were, there were accommodations that could be made that respected her individual liberty uh, and the right of this couple to be married. But, le but let me kind of rephrase that question. I mean, whether you agree or disagree with the Supreme Court decision, it's a decision. And uh, we, we can agree that it, that decision is the law of the land. Well, look, Jose, we, we are in a very interesting time. You have the president, uh, you know, turning his back on the law of the land when it comes to even his uh, initiative, Obamacare, uh, when it's inconvenient or when it's politically more convenient to sidestep the law. You have uh, cities, mayors uh, going against federal law that's established law, the federal government has the right to control uh, and enforce the law on marijuana. Uh, you, have, you have cities basically saying uh, that they don't care what the federal uh, objective is in our immigration policy. We are setting up sanctuary cities. Uh, and so all of these things can be argued. Uh, the question is how are they argued? Uh, and we should not faint surprise when in fact we had a Supreme Court through judicial fiat interrupt a democratic process that was working this thing out. Ken Blackwell from the Family Research Council, thank you for being with me. Appreciate your time.